Another benefit our console gives us is a handful of helper methods that make it easier to work with our application. Say we want to perform some operations on the heading at the top of the page, which has an ID of title. We could laboriously type out a call to document query selector, but the console provides us with a shorthand way of doing this, a function named with the dollar sign character, sometimes called bling. Just typing bling with a title ID will save you a lot of time and keystrokes. You should be aware that many JavaScript libraries come with their own version of bling. So if you load jQuery, for example, it's going to override the console's bling with the jQuery bling. In our sample app, we are using jQuery. So when we use the bling, even if we send it an ID, it's going to return us an array of DOM nodes instead of one. So to get the same result, we have to explicitly select the first element of the array using square brackets zero. Now, what if I want to use the bling to grab an element from the page and then figure out where that is inside of my DOM inside the elements panel? We can do that by grabbing an element and passing it into the inspect method. That node is then selected inside of our elements panel. We can also do the reverse. Let's say you've selected a node inside the elements panel and you want to work with it on the console. Chrome keeps a history of your selections. The most recent one is stored in the bling zero variable. So if we enter that, we get the node we last selected. If you'd like to view the DOM node you selected before this one, you can actually type bling1. Bling2 will then go two selections back in the history and so on. All right, I hope you're ready to try out some of this new bling in the challenges.